Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Historic: Black communities praising Trump for an incredible 400% increase in one year. In my viewpoint, it is an unassailable fact that President Trump has helped produce an economy that is historic. The stock market is soaring ever higher and unemployment is at historic lows. There seem to be more jobs than people who can fill them. The great part about most of these jobs is that they aren't part-time or temporary employment. They are permanent, great-paying jobs and Americans are breathing a tremendous sigh of relief over them. Most people just want to do an honest day's labor for an honest day's wage and live their lives in peace. Trump has helped to make that dream a reality once again. He's given dignity back to American workers. Nowhere will you find this to be truer than in the black community. Because of the record unemployment and other economic factors, President Trump's approval rating with African Americans has just hit 36 percent according to a Rasmussen Reports poll. That's incredible news. It jumped from 31 percent not long before that point. Trump's approval is up 19 points since last year at this time among African Americans. Not only is unemployment among the black community at a historic low point, black business ownership under President Trump has rocketed 400 percent in a year-over-year -year time period from 2017 to 2018. That's staggering. You don't hear about it in the media much, but certain publications have picked up on the good news. And if Trump can do this in the year and a half he has been in office, imagine what he will do at the end of four years. Or eight. From Black Enterprise African American business owners are on the rise. According to the Minority 2018 Small Business Trends Survey, the number of black-owned small businesses in the U.S. increased by a staggering 400 percent in a year-over-year -year time period from 2017 to 2018. The new survey, which was conducted by Guidant Financial and Lending Club, interviewed more than 2,600 business owners and aspiring entrepreneurs. It found that 45% of all small business in the country were owned by minority ethnic groups in 2018. This is a dramatic uptick from 2015 when the total percentage of minority business owners was 15%. The largest minority group of respondents were African American at 19%, followed by Hispanic at 14%, Asian at 8%, and Native American at 4%. Of the African American small business owners surveyed, 63% identified as men and 38% as women. Most fell between the ages of 40 to 49 with 28%, while 25% were between 50 and 59 years old, and 22% are 30 to 39. The research also showed that the highest volume of African American entrepreneurs lives in Texas, followed by Georgia, California, Florida, and North Carolina. David Nilsson, CEO of Guidant Financial, said in a statement that he is excited about the rise of minority small business owners around the nation. Growth amongst all minorities including women is promising in America as small business ownership becomes more favorable and easier to attain. We anticipate and hope to see a continued increase as the impact of tax reform and economic growth shape small business ownership moving forward. 62% of African Americans are now voicing their desire to pursue their passion that motivated them to start a business. Entrepreneurship is catching fire once again just as it should in a capitalistic environment. Another 53% said they were ready to be their own boss. That will be the toughest boss they have ever had. You never work harder than when you work for yourself. 30% said they launched a startup when the opportunity presented itself and 22% stated they were dissatisfied with working in corporate America. I don't blame them in the least. That happened to me as well. 12% said they launched a business after being laid off or outsourced. 80% of black entrepreneurs surveyed stated that lack of capital was the most challenging aspect of running a business. Project Diane is reporting that only 0.2% of all venture capital funding was allocated towards startups founded by black women in 2016, while just 34 black women business owners received more than a million dollars of funding in the last year. The result of all this is that many African Americans have to fund their own business. 70% of those surveyed finance their companies using cash while 23% received funding from friends and family. 11% said they tapped into their 401k plans to fund their businesses. And you will be surprised that higher education no longer figures very prominently into starting a business. I am thrilled to hear that. 32% of African Americans have a high school diploma GED, 26% an associate's degree and 21% a bachelor's degree. That's the way it should be. President Trump has also been promoting apprenticeships and that is a fantastic way to go as well. A college degree just isn't what it used to be or probably ever should have been in my opinion. The black community is praising President Trump for the economic prosperity he has brought back to Americans.
They are right to do so and I believe that this is only the beginning for Trump. Part of making America great again was lifting all boats to float economically higher in the US he's certainly done that and there appears to be no end in sight for the economic upturn playing out in America in 2018. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.